If the term K-pop sounds familiar to you, you are probably part of the vibrant Ibero-American youth, fond and passionate about Korean culture, especially its music. Today, I will not only talk to you about how K-pop has reinvented the music charts, but we will also dive into the fascinating culture and intricate language of Korea that is captivating the Hispanic world. Hello, I am Constantino de Miguel. Welcome to the Prime Channel. When we think of K-pop, images of synchronized choreography and vibrant, energetic, catchy choruses immediately come to mind. But have you ever stopped to think about the cultural impact these initials are indeed having on a global scale? Let's see how Korea is also conquering the world of culture. In addition to having achieved so many advances in fields as diverse as electronics and automotive, the music of groups like BTS, Blackpink, and Super Junior is the new Esperanto, a universal language that is erasing borders and building bridges. It is a kind of soft power or cultural power that we use to associate with trends coming from Hollywood or European cinema. Well, now the influences also come to us from South Korea, a country that has managed to export its cultural essence with astonishing mastery. The authorities of South Korea have understood this perfectly. They're using K-pop as a tool of cultural diplomacy, establishing their presence in Hispanic America through cultural embassies, film festivals, and prominent participation in international book fairs such as in places in the Ecuadorian Andes, K-pop is a living force that inspires everything from entrepreneurship to education. Thanks to social media and also television, many young people in the mountains of Ecuador, neighborhoods of Chilean cities, or in Mexican urban areas watch Korean telenovelas and surrender to the musical rhythms of Korea. Sometimes the content is dubbed or subtitled. But occasionally it is not. Regardless of the sound and nuances of verbal expression in the Korean language, it captivates many young Spanish or Portuguese speakers, especially in Paraguay or Brazil, where, by the way, prosperous Korean communities live. 아직도 나를 좋아하면 바로 사귀지 말고 먼저 데이트를 해보면서 서로를 알아가면 어떻겠습니까? 네, 좋은 생각이네요. And you might wonder how it is possible that K-pop is leading millions to fall in love with the Korean language, considering it is an incomprehensible and very difficult language to learn. Well, it's not about memorizing song lyrics and telling novelas. Korean is also present in a creative adventure of apps, games, and social networks. Let's say that K-pop is just the tip of the iceberg. Behind every melody, there is a story, a set of traditions, and a society that many are eager to understand and experience. The demand for Korean courses is booming throughout Hispanic America. Universities and language schools are rapidly expanding their programs to include not only the language, but also the pop culture that we are so passionate about. Before concluding, let's talk about Korean, a language with a structure and sounds so different from ours. Korean does not have a common and ordinary alphabet. It has Hangul, one of the most scientifically designed scripts in existence. It was created in the 15th century by King Sejong the Great, so that even the most common person could learn to read and write. And what makes it so special? 
It's intuitive design. Each letter mimics the shape of the mouth when pronouncing it, which means that just by seeing how a word is written, you can have an idea of how it is pronounced. Korean is constructed in syllabic blocks, each of which consists of at least one consonant and one vowel. These blocks are grouped to form words, and the way they are organized reflects the Korean philosophy of balance and harmony. Pronunciation, on the other hand, can be a challenge. There are sounds in Korean that do not exist in Spanish, and learning them can be a fascinating exercise in auditory sharpness and linguistic flexibility. Each new sound we master expands our ability to perceive and produce new phonetic nuances in Korean. Tenemos la vocal O. 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 Como puedes escuchar, este sonido no existe en español. On the other hand, Korean grammar shows a great divergence from Spanish. Korean is an agglutinative language, which means that words are modified with particles and suffixes to indicate their function in the sentence, unlike Spanish, where the word order is more important than inflection. Con permiso. 잠시만요. 잠시만요. Un momento. 잠깐만요. For example, in Korean, the relationship between the subject, object, and verb is flexible, and the verb ending informs not only about the tense, but also the aspect, mood, and respect towards the interlocutor. This has a lot to do with the hierarchy and respect that are so fundamental in Korean culture. I invite you to please kindly check out this text here on our blog at Prime Voices. Calm. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, and share this video if it resonated with you. Your comments are greatly appreciated, so let us know what you think down below. I am Constantino de Miguel. See you soon.